Joe Biden's campaign announced this past Thursday that a third person with ties to the campaign and its flight crew have tested positive for COVID. Earlier, Kamala Harris's travel was canceled through the weekend after two people she recently traveled with tested positive for COVID. The Democratic vice presidential candidate's communications director, as well as a non-staff flight crew member, were diagnosed with the bug after flying with Kamala on October the 8th. The campaign is nixing, nixing Harris's schedule through Sunday out of an abundance of caution and in line with their campaign's commitment to the highest levels of precaution. The California senator will instead participate in robust and aggressive virtual campaign events and return to in-person campaigning next week. This corona is coming back. I'm telling you, the second wave, I think it's already here and we really don't know it. And, and this really hits home, especially with the election less than two weeks away. Cortez? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely a messed up situation right now because of the simple fact a lot of politicians man i really believe that a lot of politicians felt that they were going to be untouchable by this man and now it's on their front doorstep right now you know they've been telling us for the past several months man to mask up and and social protocols and everything man but people are doing their own things mm -hmm. people are getting corona more on these plane trips man from what it looks like <laughs> Cause it's like you flying around a lot. You and that kid, you and that like cut that cockpit or whatever, man. I ah, shoot, it's not. That's a haven for for Corona right now. You up in there with different different people from all over the area, man. Yeah, I've always I've always heard that it was always one probably one of the the best uh, places where they can actually filtrate all of the air that's circulating through. So I, who knows? You might be on the on the money with this one. Yeah, because most of the stuff that's going down has been plane related, man. Mm -hmm. Even Trump, I think Trump got something flying around, man. So it's like, you know, I, I'm not trying to discourage people from flying, but you might want to wear a mask. If you fly, you might not want to take your mask off. You mm -hmm. might want to leave it on or bring several with you so you can change them in and out. Yeah, for real. GPS? That plane air is on constant research. So if they're not changing those filters or they're not sanitizing them or they're not introducing some kind of sanitizer disinfectant into the system. And I don't know how you can do that without somehow affecting everybody on the plane. Mm -hmm. That's an issue. I don't think anybody's ever said anything about that other than, you know, it, it probably sits there a little longer and they clean it down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. I mean, it's here. And mm -hmm. because everybody's still out here moving around, there's no vaccine. I don't see how anybody's not going to get it or at least come in contact with it. Right. Now, I'm thinking, is this going to wind up coming, uh, becoming an advantage for the president in this election? Um, yeah, if everybody dies, then, you know, Jesus. he doesn't have to worry about anybody running, anybody <laughs> running against him. It was never a plan laid out to begin with. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the highest rates out of all the other countries. We have higher rates because of the simple fact we didn't take it that seriously. We mm -hmm. got into this, we got into the situation and everybody was like, Oh, it's going to be just like the flu. It's going to come and go. And that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you, it's just like you living in a house and you know, the roof is leaking and you actually see the water coming through the damn roof and you got buckets all around your house. That's telling you, maybe you need to get your roof fixed mm -hmm. because eventually it's going to go up. It's going to blow up into something bigger. And I think, I think with this administration, just in general, it's just they did. They had that attitude like if it doesn't concern me, then I really don't care. If it's not bothering me immediately, I really don't care. That's why it gets me when I see Pence and I see Trump up there walking around no mask on and Trump just had it. He's saying now he has the miracle drug that's out there and that they're going to have a cure for this and all that. And I'm like, gee, come on, man. We haven't even talked about flu season yet. Flu season is about to get here soon, but a word on the street is that you can actually have the flu and Corona at the same time. Mm, I, I believe yes, it. Can. I believe it. I would believe it. And so we, we all got to batten down the hatches, really. Keep in mind, too, both of them are similar. You can get fevers. We definitely get fever. Mm -hmm. You can go through the whole thing that the Corona symptoms have. So, yeah, you think it's going to get confusing now? Whew. So let's just hope that, first and foremost, that the individuals that caught the Rona in Kamala's camp, speedy recovery. And 
want to make sure, Miss Kamala, that you're not a part of that, and we hope that you don't get the Rona or anything like that. And just stay vigilant in what you're doing and what you're trying to do to uh, bring this country back to some kind of normalcy.